Greetings from the Void. My name is Alpha, and welcome back to Signalis. In the last episode, uh, we learned more about the Mina unit and the Colibri unit. Uh, we're learning a lot about all these replica models that we've been uh, seeing and hearing about. We've been learning a lot about replicas and Adler. Actually, we learned mo we learned a lot about Adler last episode. Like, a lot. Um, but yeah, so much, you know, lore and stuff that I've been piecing together slowly but surely. Uh, regardless, yeah, now we're presented with this machine, which I do not know where to begin with this. Alignment error, use manual controls. Okay. Oh, I get it. It's a maze. It's one of those. Po it's one of those Pokemon mazes. I get it. I see. It's a Pokemon maze. It's a Pokemon Ice maze. Interesting. Luckily, I know what I'm doing with those. Or at least I. Thought I knew the solution. Wait, no, actually do. Never mind. Here we go. I I thought that was a solution. I think I was supposed to grab something. Let's grab the the weirdest looking like thing. Uh if I can at least. System orientation. Obstacle detected. Okay, well, I think I'm supposed to... Oh, wait. Yeah, I can just go around. There we go. Okay, new plan. We get wherever this is. It's the king in yellow! Pick up Astrolabe? Yes. Is that the Signalis symbol? I know where that goes. That goes in Adler's room. Okay. The king in yellow seems to be very important here. Strange clockwork dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. Do you know anything about the king in yellow? Guess not. Yeah, we saw that book in the episode one. That was the book in the demo for me too. Didn't expect to see that again. Okay. Um, shit, that was, that's been a while. Uh, okay, we need to get to Adler's study to get to his shrine box, which seems to be like some sort of like astronomical calendar. Alright, we're just going to do the usual, uh, switcheroo. <laughs> Oh Christ, I walked into you. I'm a fool. Okay, it didn't hurt too much though. Okay. Let's see what's inside this thing. Astrolabe. Oh. This is what the orbit thing is all about. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. Star, circle, pause, hexagon. Oh, I don't know. I know where to get the answer, but... That might be a problem. Shotgun rounds. Okay, we're, 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 we're going, we need to return to the, uh, the briefing room. Thankfully, it's on the same floor. Danger game. Okay, I'm entering the star room. I am, I have entered the right room. Apparently, everything in the storch area woke up. I'm grabbing the photo module. Okay, here we go. Interesting. That might come in handy later. Okay. So now... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to get from this. I didn't mean the capture with left click, but Okay, well at least that's there and that's there. So circle star Why is this a phasmophobia flashlight sound effect? I also like to point out, like, I, I, I remember the ambiance, right? The quiet ambiance in some of the rooms in this game. It's the same ambiance used in SCP Secret Laboratory. I know it all too well, considering I've done like over a hundred episodes of that by now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it would be a sin for me to not know what the ambiance to Secret Laboratory sounds like. So I recognize it in this game. Wait, the star's unmoving. So, okay, so basically that stays up there. I don't know what the pause symbol is. Maybe it's on some of the posters I've been seeing of all the planets. Because there's a pause symbol and a hexagon. I gotta figure out this puzzle. Veneta. Veneta's the pause symbol. The ocean. Okay, so Veneta's the pause symbol. Rot front is the is the filled in circle. Kit says a triangle, which is irrelevant. So this this one's Veneta. Right. So Veneta. So rot front is to the right. Okay.
Wait, no. Rot. This filled in circles. Rot front. So what is the hexagon then? Uh, I don't know how to solve this. Hi, Matt. Maybe. Hi, Matt's the, the the star. Bullion is the hexagon. So I'm going to say the hexagon goes right here. So that's bullion. Okay. Bullion's to the right of high mat. Vanilla's to the left. And rot fronts from behind. <laughs> I don't know how to solve this. Oh, wait, duh, I haven't been confirming. I don't I don't know how to solve this. I I actually do not know how to solve this. What orientation does this go in? Maybe Okay, so high mat's supposed to be to the north, right? Maybe I didn't take a good enough photo. I don't think I took a good enough photo. Can I delete photos? Didn't mean to take a... Four, five... Um, you know what? Will this clear him out? That didn't really work, but whatever. I am going to solve this astrolabe puzzle. This is the hardest puzzle I've come across in this game. Alright. Okay, I have an idea. New plan. I'm going to wait for Hymat to get to the northernmost position. And maybe that's the solution. I don't know. Let me see my photo. That should do. My eye module. Wow, this I module actually came in clutch, actually. Okay. So, high mat is upward, so Veneta is to the left, so I believe Veneta goes right here. Now, if I remember... Rot front is the filled in circle. And bullion's the hexagon. So let's deal with the let's deal with bullion first, the hexagon. Bullion's to the bottom right. So bullion's in the right position, actually. 
So Rot Front needs to change their position to like right here. Oh my god, that actually worked! Holy hell! Oh my god! Oh that God, that felt, felt so good to figure out. That took me 20 minutes to figure out, but I figured it out. Actually, I don't know how long that actually took me to figure out, but that was... God, that was not an easy puzzle. Give me that key. Oh, I earned that. The Shrine Diary. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how good that puzzle felt. Oh my god, if anyone streams this game, don't tell them how to solve that puzzle. Don't let them figure that out for themselves. I don't care how I don't care how I don't care how much help they need. All right, they need to figure that out for themselves because that felt so good. Actually, don't take anything to what I said. No, I that that was a pretty hard puzzle. I I, I think some people want to actually make progress in this game. Oh god, that, but that's just me. That was just me. I God, that felt amazing. To get that solved. I can't believe that was the solution. That's amazing. Okay. I'm so entertained. I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Serpinski. But a bright light illuminates my day. Today I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falke. And she was like, as magnificent as ever. Another day passes. During my meeting with the commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. I have been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. These are all on the same day, wait. Yeah, these are all on the same day. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that, for some inexplicable reason, I, have, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Oh. Wait. You're still making the mistake! Are these all taking place on the same day? Every day feels like... Th these are not on the same day. Wait. Yeah, another day passes. These are all in the same date. You're still making the mistake. Every day feels a bit like I've lived it before, and even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated today? To today. Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Wait, you cannot recall writing these. Ooh, okay, so there's some so there's some weird going on with this one. Okay. Commander Falk is like a psychic super soldier, so maybe that's interfering somehow with this diary. Familiarity as I sat with her. Maybe she's trying to get you to remember her? You know, you, you were Gestalts before you became replicas. So maybe you two had something, you know, special? I don't know. I mean, I can't... I mean, I don't know. There's like... There's a sensation of familiarity. I imagine that's caused by her. Interrupted by an unexpected power outage. Another thing that could be chalked up as, you know, psychic super soldier shenanigans. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never been felt so. Yeah, deja vu in these past few days. See, these are all. See, they say a day passes, so these all can't be on the same date then. Every day feels a bit like I've lived it before. And even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Wait, every day feels like I've lived it before. I think I recall saying something in episode one that on the 
Penrose 512 computer, it talked about cycles. So either that's just, you know, how they keep track of time here in this universe, or we're in a time loop. This diary page sounds like a time loop to me. He's repeating the same day. Because I don't think I've ever recalled anything, uh, I don't think I've seen any calendars as of yet referring to cycles. I don't think I've seen any calendars, period. All these dates are, like, recorded in numbers and letters, so... I don't know. It's a possibility. I can't rule it out exactly. It's a pretty high possibility. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated today? Am I going insane? I feel what will happen to me. I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out. I'm alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. Am I going insane? Something is wrong. I can feel it. And th is this really madness? When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. A yesterday that never was. Yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. Okay. Wait. Back to back to page one, right? As very she was as magnificent as ever. Another day passes during my meeting with Commander today. Today I was invited with a meeting by Commander. Yeah, okay. Funny how this diary is found is found in a astronomical calendar puzzle box. Because this, this diary seems to be messing with time. So Adler here is repeating the same day over and over again. The meeting with his commander. However, this one, there's a power outage. And in this uh, instance, he's getting just deja vu and paranoia. He's repeating the same day again. Something's out of place. Yeah, that's that's normal for that kind of situation. Now the commander fell ill. Now that's interesting. So either we're in a time loop or he's living different parallel like instances of the same day. Because there seems to be some, it doesn't seem to be like a full, you know, Groundhog's Day scenario. There seems to be small differences within the repetitions of each day, uh, of the same day. <clears throat> Sorry, something's wrong. It can be a defect of my mind. A defect of my mind. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I too have become sick like the others without realizing. But I will not succumb. A slow acclimation, accumulation of a slow accumulation of reproduction errors, a gradual corruption of information. A story misremembered, slowly morphing with each retelling, like genetic material mutating and evolving. Like the replica mind, copied over and over from an aging template. There it is! The answer I've been looking for. So these replicas are just gestalts from a... from... they're just proxies of the same, like, brain scan. This is some Soma bullshit. I do not know, but I will find out. The answers lie below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there, in the mine. And that's where I'm going, because I feel that pull too. And I have the administrator key, so... <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Glad I, I still kept around the I module. Although it seems to be the most irrelevant module 
in the game. I've, it only came in handy in this particular instance. I hope I, I hope to get more use to this module, because that was that was a cool puzzle. Okay, well, um, I guess all that's left to do is go down to the mine, because I I think I got my use out of the briefing room. Um, did I get my use out of every other floor? Wait, no, I'm back in. Give me a go. Yeah, I think I got everything here. Yeah, I think I got everything. Sweet. Well, all that's left for me is to save and then uh, go down to the mine. You know what? For it. Ow! There goes my full health. Okay, well, I think I know what I'm doing now. Many factors, but there is some. This is going to take, like, this is going to take moss bag levels of, like, piecing together. Unless the story makes it obvious later on. Because, oh my god, I I want to know what's going on. Either way, we're ending this episode off here. Leave a like and enjoy, subscribe for today, and I'll see you in whatever I do next. Farewell, everyone. Goodbye.